Okay, Paul, so what we're going to talk about now is chain alignment. Um, I normally do it by eye, but you have a very tech way of doing it um, to make it more precise. So um, can you take us through the process? Well, I don't think it's more tech way. It's just, uh, especially if you're setting a bike up from scratch, uh, a lot of times when you're building a bike up from new, you might put everything together, then you're sitting there and you're trying to peer down yeah, and yeah. work out, yeah, is it all going to slide? Yeah, it's all like, going to slide. Like a golfer with a golf club. Yep. <laughs> well, quickest way to do that is really all you need is a bit of paper and a ruler. So an A4 sheet? Yeah, uh, any bit of paper will do. Uh, I've used envelopes, track side, and when I've Raffle tickets needed. won't be big enough though. No. So all you want to do is make, fold it over. Just so you can get yourself a nice straight edge. Run, run the straight edge across your chain ring. So you're butting that right up against the chain yep. ring? So that's butted up hard against the chain ring. Then basically, grab your tape measure. You measure from the edge of that bit of paper to the outside of your bottom bracket shell, which in my case is 74 millimeters. Then you measure the width of your bottom bracket shell. What we're after here is a dead, what we're trying to work out is um, the chain alignment off the center of the bike. Yep. So my uh, shell width there is 68. 68 uh, mils from center to center of the bike is, to the center should be 34. Yep. So if we take our 74 minus our 34, 40 mil. I'm running a 40 mil chain line. Oh. The rear of your, the rear of your bike. If it's a BMX uh, rear hub. Oh, I'm sorry, I've forgotten something here. Also remember to take into account the offset of the teeth. I was going to ask about that because you know you got your profile leaf sprockets that are offset one side yep. and the other. And they'll yep. throw everything out of yep. way. So all you do is you know, still with your front, uh, still with your straight head, John. Just measure your offset of your teeth. So I've got a two mil offset. So I'm running a 42 millimeter chain line. The rear of your bike on on a BMX hub is 110. So that means your spacing from lock nut to lock nut is 110 millimeters. So from the center of the bike is 55 mils. If we take our 55 mil width, we know we're running a 42 mil chain line. So that means our offset to the to the rear of the bike is 13 millimeters. Using your little bit of paper here, mark your line. Mark the line at 13 millimeters. 13 millimeters from your dropout, and you're dead down the center of your tooth. Someone's done that before on your bike, Paul. Um, so one thing I've noticed is a lot of people don't realize you can actually change the spacing of your rear sprocket as well as the front, obviously. Yep. Um, and you've got more flexibility on the on the hub. Um, so let's say they've got. If it's profile, you've got one big spacer in there and you can um, reverse the cog and people feel that they don't get enough movement. What, what else can you do? Can you buy um, narrower spacers and uh, change things around that way? With the profiles, uh, you basically, because the cog is proprietary, you really only have two options there to, to align it. Um, with your standard Shimano, Shimano pattern um, cogs, there's a series of spaces that you can that you can get um, to fit behind the cog. You can move move the cog in and out to adjust, and that's why using this method when you're building the bike, it's uh, it's a good way when you first build it up, so you're not setting it up, putting the chain on, checking the alignment, then you take it all apart. While the bike's in the build-up stage, you can get there. You get your, you work your measurement out, you know you need your 13 mils, you go to line it up, cog's way over here somewhere, mm -hmm. it's like, oh okay, I'll quickly make a mark, 
two mils, okay? I need a two mil spacer in there. So why is it so important to have the alignment right in the first place? It, um, when you're pedaling, you're trying to pull all, the chain is trying to pull the back wheel forwards. So you need to make sure that's in a straight line yep. so it doesn't derail? If it's not in a straight line, it will try and pull that wheel into, oh, right. into alignment. So if your chain's running on an S pattern, it'll try and pull it off to the side. That's what causes your derailment on the chain. Um, if you sure you can do your chain tensioners up real tight so there's no way that the chain can come off, but what you wind up with there is a heap of drag on your chain line. You wind up, it's it's noisy, it's not smooth. Um, the, uh, I've had a lot of a lot of people come to me with, you know, can you tell where this noise is coming from? Do I need a new bottom bracket and everything? Look down, chain alignment's off by a mile. Straighten it up, instant silence. Um, I can't think of any other questions. Uh, any other hints and tips we should know before we sign off? Yep. Um, you can adjust the adjust the spacing on your on your rear cog. Uh, a lot of cases you can also adjust the spacing on the front one as well. Uh, especially um, the younger kids use a three-piece crank. But quite often the chain ring you can bolt to either side yep. of the spider. A lot of people don't realise that. Um, and the and if you happen to be running a um, uh, quite often one of the stock, uh, stock bikes, they come equipped with a freewheel hub. You can actually still get spaces that go behind the freewheel. You don't quite get as much adjustment though, do you? No. The freewheel it, width is quite wide, so you, yeah, you, you get to a point where you're going to get too close to the, the drop Yeah, out. that's the other thing. You just have to make sure that your chain is going to clear your drop yeah, out. Yeah. All right, thanks very much. I think that's all we have. If you've got any questions or would like to know a bit more, you'd like to pick If Paul's you'd like brain. a formula. <laughs> <laughs> a formula costs extra. Um, we'll uh, just email us through bmxultra.com or uh, send us a comment or um, uh, whatever through YouTube. Cheers. See ya.